What's up guys, it is Paul here from Two My Productions, and I just changed up my intro there a little bit. But anyway guys, um, what is going on? Um, just a little commentary here today for you guys. And this is about um, DLC for the Wii U. Well, I know I've already made a video on this, but um, there's been a lot more random stuff going on, and you guys can go ahead and check for yourselves. Go ahead, go onto the website, and it will now say next to the Call of Duty Ghost Box for the Wii U, it now has no free fall next to it. Now, this is one of the things that's making me think many other big YouTubers, um, well, slightly big YouTubers, like the Mr. Hunting Noobs, um, Kidla, 404, all, and iComboy, making all of us think that is there going to be DLC now? Don't think there's going to be DLC for Call of Duty. Still, there's no same season pass, but a lot of people have came up with theories that maybe it's because that there's something wrong with the website coding or something that I don't know why that would be a problem because come on it's called you they wouldn't just they wouldn't have that sort of thing happening but they're going on this is a real big point that I want to make the same they're probably not going to be doing DLC for the simple reason that there's not enough people on the Black Ops 2 servers now I was just on it a minute ago and there was about 2,000 people on help on to MW3 you get at least 3,000 or yeah 3,000 people on it and you get more people on Modern Warfare 3, a game that's like two years old, two years old, two years old, to a game that's a year old and it's only got 2,000 players on. The reason for that is Treyarch, I do not exactly like Treyarch's games, that's a fact. I, I prefer Infinity Ward's games and I don't understand why we're not going to be getting DLC, but a point that I'm trying to make is that they're not going to be giving us DLC. They're not getting, because we're not getting enough people on Black Ops 2 servers. The reason why, because we're not getting DLC. That's one of my theories that is probably true, because they're like, oh, you know, ain't got enough players going online on the Wii U. Well, that's the reason, because you're not giving us DLC. What's the point in saying, oh yeah, we're not going to give you more DLC, because less people play on it. If you give us DLC, more people will probably buy the Wii U, because then I'll be like, I won't be missing out on the COD experience while I go and play my other games. Because in COD Ghosts, I'm guessing not many people are going to be wanting to miss out on the DLCs, as... It seems to be that Ghost is looking at as a, like a pretty good game. It's going to have Specialist back in it, which is going to be a beast, beast thing, because I love playing and playing with Specialist bonus and everything on it. It's just so good. Um, but there, I really want to see DLC on the Wii U, and it's just sad because, really? Really, Infinity Ward and Activision? Why can't you give Wii U DLC? Don't say because of Black Ops 2 servers. Give us a proper reason. Say if we're going to get it or not. Just confirm it. Because it's just stupid. With Black Ops 2 last year, when it was released, it was supposedly with Nuketown. And I wasn't one of the ones that pre-ordered it. But because, as you guys know, I'm new to the Wii U. Well, I'm a few months new. <laughs> um, but it came out and you pre-ordered it with Nuketown. Got there, you don't get Nuketown with it. And the thing is, I was looking on the black back of the... Black Ops 2 box on the Wii U, and it actually says, word for word, that it says, paid services, next to the like the n little Nintendo Network logo, P paid services, add, colon, add-on content. That was kind of hinting that I thought it may have, may have been DLC. Obviously, I know that it wasn't, but so some people that had just got the game and didn't know about it, maybe hadn't opened the box yet, they were thinking, there's going to be DLC for this game, this is going to be so sweet, I can't wait. And then they realise that they don't get Nuketown 2025, now, which is free now on every single console, and they're missing out on the DLC. That's why nobody goes on it, because there's literally no sales for the Wii U, and it's just completely plummeting. It's just not going well. Now, anyway, guys, leave me your thoughts. If you got any more sources for this, then feel free to leave in the comment section below. If you got any questions, leave in the comment section below as well. Also, guys, drop a like. This gameplay in the background was actually a pretty nice gameplay. It was 17 and 3. Um, this was in a game of TDM on Aftermath. I've got a lot of better gameplays than this. I just haven't actually got them yet because I've got them in the theater mode, saved them. I haven't recorded them yet. So I will get those gameplays out to you guys because they're pretty sweet, like 32 and 2 and stuff like that. Just sweet gameplays like that that I'm getting on TDM because I'm a guy who just plays TDM. And the way that Triarch doesn't, well, they didn't give a fair amount of um, kills. So it's 75 kills. 
to get to win the game, obviously, on TDM. But then they just don't even cooperate it with the kill streaks. So if you're trying to get a swarm, it's like 1,700, which is like 17 kills. If you die, then you're probably not going to get your swarm or something like that. And it's just ridiculous how they didn't do that. But with the specialist bonus and ghosts, I'm really looking forward to that. But anyway, guys, as you can see, the gameplay is ending here. I can't thank you guys enough for watching, and I will see you guys in my next video. Once again from me, Paul, peace.